Well, how's this for a mean looking shot here? Harrisburg Skycam right now where a snow squall is beginning to work its way into the city. You could see it really just a few blocks away from the Capitol building as I'm speaking. So within the next couple of minutes, these snow rates will intensify very quickly in and around Harrisburg Metro, especially just to the north of the city. Looks like where some of the heavier uh, rates of that snow are going to begin to work in, but really a distinct line between whiteout conditions and nothing at all. Right now, Harrisburg recording uh, just some flurries around 33 degrees, but this is going to change quickly. Conditions will deteriorate rapidly in those areas. So if you are going to be out and about driving throughout the Susquehanna Valley all afternoon, if you run into a scene that looked like that, be ready for some slowdowns. Also some tricky travel on the roadways. It could come down fast enough to accumulate on the roads. In addition, we've got cold weather with some pretty brisk wind chills. Right now the wind chills are down into the 20s in most spots. Here's a look at the radar with winds about 10 to 15 miles per hour sustained. And we've got a few bands of snow showers working right along the Susquehanna River. Again, one of those bands right around the Harrisburg Metro at this time. Some additional snow showers near Lancaster as well. But here is one of those some of those brighter white colors. That is a snow squall. So again, if you're headed just to the north and west of Harrisburg up the 322-422 uh, corridor towards the State College area. You will run into that over the next few minutes and could slow things down. We're not done with it yet either. And in fact, check this out. See this line of bright white color there? That is more in the way of these snow squalls. The temperatures are loft are very cold right now relative to the surface. And that just adds to the instability. So this line, as it makes its way through throughout the afternoon, we will be tracking those snow squalls on the leading edge of that cold front as it drives through. So the timing is between now and I would say four or five o'clock before things start to settle down. But if you encounter those squalls, expect gusty winds and the blinding visibilities out there today. Mostly cloudy skies in the News 8 Storm Team forecast. We've got the York Fairgrounds and Expo Center where the Pennsylvania Garden Show of York is taking place throughout this weekend, including today. And it will be blustering cold for that. Certainly not feeling like garden weather at all. Upper 30s for highs. Now, good thing that event is indoors. Into tonight, mainly clear skies, winds diminishing, so cold lows expected down near 20 degrees, and we will rebound back to the mid-30s tomorrow, but the wind chills will make it feel like the 20s at best with a mixture of clouds and sun. Right now, our current air temperatures, not the wind chills, air temperatures are near the freezing mark in many spots, but it's got some cold air all the way back into the Great Lakes. We're going to get a taste of that here as we wait for this cold front to drive through. There was quite the accumulation of snow around Erie this morning, about uh, two inches in a very short period of time. I don't think we'll see two inches, but could see a dusting of snow in a very short period of time. If you encounter one of these snow showers as they blast through, you can see them here this afternoon. And then by the time we hit this evening, they're done with. So pretty short period of time that we're worried about this into tonight and tomorrow morning. No problems, but there will be some clouds, brisk, blustery winds as we head through the day. Tomorrow wind chills in the 20s. Looks like mostly sunny skies into our Sunday. A little bit milder, but still pretty chilly for this time of the year. And then we're back to the 50s by Monday with some shower chances, even into Tuesday with a cold front. Could be back in near 60 on Tuesday, but then we set back down into the mid 40s. So Susan, I think the takeaway is for the next few hours as we wait for these snow squalls to move in. If you encounter them, they can definitely cause some headaches on uh, traveling, so definitely use some caution. We've this seen afternoon. that before. Yeah, it just it can a few be weeks ago. It yeah. absolutely can. All right, I had to break out the gloves and hats yeah. this morning. Winter's <laughs> not over yet. All right, thanks, Matt. Mm -hmm.